ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back. My name is Fizz. We are back with another brand spanking new arc update. And today we're going to be going over how to tame the Tropas as also everything you need to know about it. Now the Tropa Gath, which uh, is very hard to pronounce, I'm just going to call it Tropa, is a uh, Ark's brain spanking new flying creature related to Crystal Isles. Uh, they say it is available on all maps, but I'm just going to be specifically talking on Crystal Isles because I know exactly where it is on Crystal Isles, so it's just easier to explain it and talk about it. Uh, the Tropa is very commonly in the southern area and also in the northern area with the floating isles. That's where I've seen it mostly. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have a better, better update in a couple weeks on exactly where all the context of the spawn regions are because people will be able to download the data mine of the files and actually be able to pinpoint exact where spawn points are but for my looking in information that's where you can start looking to find these guys now this is a brand spanking new flying creature and it's quite interesting and pretty unique it's got a lot of different new abilities and quite fearful in the wild uh for one do not get near one and accidentally hit one because it will pick you up and actually fly you up into the sky and drop you now you can get away from this if you try and punching it just like the box spider kind of ability if you try and get away from it uh but be warned uh you might fall to your death so be be definitely aware of that because uh it it will definitely kill you the Trumpa saddle requirement is level 65 and it's it's a little bit pricey but not really it's 120 crystal 450 fiber 325 high 600 metal ingots and 250 polymer all right so let's go over how you tame we'll go over abilities in the next uh, part of this but basically what you need to do to tame this is you need exceptional kibble you need chain bullets you need a ballista you need rare flowers now for this video i'm just showcasing very 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 basic just trap is just a trap that you lower it in with rare flowers make sure you don't get too close to it so it doesn't pick you up and what you need to do is just basically get on the ballista shoot it with the chain below it go up to it and feed it and basically you got to keep doing that over and over again until it's basically tame it's a passive tame so you don't knock it out or anything and uh yeah uh, the bolo lifts about 20 to 30 seconds so uh make sure you keep doing that before you feed it again uh because it will be aggressive towards you trying to kill you uh, and that's kind of it. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but obviously you need to be the levels to, for be able to make the chain blows and the ballista uh, and also the saddle. So it's not a technically an easy tame, but it could be when you get into the advanced technology of your leveling. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so the Tropa's base abilities are pretty straightforward. Left click is a bite attack, and uh, right click doesn't do anything until you are flying, which when you're flying, right click is the pickup ability, so you can pick up dodos, people, sheep, you know, whatever. Uh, and also, when you are also flying, if you double tap space, uh, it is the wind gust ability, which you can knock over people, creatures, trees, and stuff like that. Um, and just hitting space once again will allow you to be landing. Uh, just pretty simple like that. Uh, now, it has uh, kind of unique features when it's flying, so let's go over that now. The other abilities are is the, the use of uh, gasoline and ammunition of grenades. Now, this is the first creature that needs a kind of a fuel source to actually uh, move quickly. Uh, so you just need to have gasoline in its inventory and also have grenades if you want to use it. Uh, to activate it, what you need to do is just be able to be flying. And uh, you just kind of just hit control, left control to start your jet engine. And we'll use one gasoline per use of uh of starting it up obviously but obviously we'll use gasoline throughout the whole thing and holding shift making you go jet engine powering now uh there is a new feature with this guy which is also if you hold h in the keyboard it's called speed now this guy is pretty cool unique because if you're holding down uh speed for instance for with holding shift to have much greater speed you can see your bar has increased to a yellow but if we go looking down it now is jet engine speed, which is now red. So now you can go a lot faster, which is really, really cool. To activate the grenades, you need to be having your jet engine on. So if we shut this off real quick, you cannot have your jet engine on, but you can start biting and picking up creatures. Uh, so you need to have make sure your jet engine on, you get your crosshair, and now you right click, and you can shoot the grenades. Pretty cool, pretty simple, pretty easy, and in my opinion, well worth it. Uh, he can also do flips, but they're not really that good in my opinion because the creature needs to be facing the right way. So if you want to make this look good, you got to basically turn your camera around so it actually is looking right. 
Uh, but it is a it is a good speed boost. Uh, but I don't know. It just feels clunky to me. So maybe in the future they'll fix it. But honestly, they probably won't. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's how you use the tropa. Pretty cool and simple. There is another feature that he has, which we'll go over right now. All right, so the next ability I'm going to talk about is the jet stream, I'm going to call it. Basically, what you could do is, is steal other flyer speed to overpass them in uh, if you're doing a race or something. Or if you're in PvP, obviously, being able to catch up uh, with people, which is pretty cool. Um, basically, what you do is you kind of just go near them. Uh, behind them, you'll see a little kind of little, like a little uh, wind turbine thing coming off of them. And you just hit space bar. And basically, you'll be able to overpass them uh, if you are uh, be able to the you know if you have the speed to do that <laughs> it's pretty cool and interesting you know i can't wait to see what people will be doing that because obviously you'll be able to uh over speed anything that's flying so pretty cool Alrighty, and with that ladies and gentlemen that's it if you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and follow tell me guys what you think about the tropa and if i missed anything please comment down below but i'm pretty sure i covered everything you uh, need to know about this guy and in my honest opinion though i'm quite happy i know it is kind of a reskin of a tappy hour uh, but to be honest, it's not bad because the Tappy R and them are kind of the same in real life. So, I mean, it's I don't have a problem with that, to be honest. And I quite like the jet powered engine because it makes it really cool and fun for me. I, I like it. I don't like flyers that much. I, I absolutely hate wyverns and stuff and ice jumpers and all that stuff. But I actually quite like this. So uh, I'll be using it for my new season, which I have a brand spanking new arc season on Crystal Isles coming to you very, very soon. I will be announced on my Discord when we'll be live on it. And it is free to join. Uh, and Epic Game Store has arc for free. The, the mod support for Epic Game Store is not there yet. It will be coming in the next couple months hopefully uh so but you can definitely pick up arc right now on epic game store for free uh it is only the base game but for the most part we do play on base game servers uh, or with content so yeah link in the description down below if you want to join the server i uh, love you all hopefully you enjoyed and please share the video if you thought it was helpful thank you very much